Okay, now I know, I know what's happening. There are like, like you go to gang stalking channels and most of the time it's just weirdos saying they're being stalked by someone like right over there across the street, right? I don't have that happening. I don't think so. I don't pay attention to the world around me. Like, I'm like lost in a different dimension. Most of the time. So, it would be sad if I, if like, it wasn't a cool dimension and, you know, I understood this one better, right? Like, I can't understand how to be sad. I, I think some people probably feel sorry for me, whatever, whatever they view me as. Maybe that's fucking it. Um, but... I believe that they have been fucking with me for a long time. And they have probably been following me even longer than that. Um, now, I do have serious... I've I made a video on this, and I didn't upload it. And it was about, like... Like, I was talking about the times, like... I've really fucking, you know, been watched. And, and they fucking... You know, they fucking robbed me. And they were like, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. We were right there watching you the whole time. I mean, they fucking bragged about doing this shit, right? Like, when they did fucking fuck me up. So, I've always been, like, a weirdly aware person. Apparently, like, everyone else is, like, not aware. Or they just, like, really good acting like they aren't. Uh, but I don't think that, I don't know, dude. I'm like, I can like see shit and analyze shit pretty fucking good. I guess I'm what the CIA would call an, an analyst. I can analyze data. I can analyze shit. Fucking, uh, I can tell you what's going on. Um, and I'm, I'm wrong sometimes. Like, sure, I'm, it's probably no one who's, I don't, I don't know what's going on in the world. So I can't, I can't really tell you shit. I can't finish that sentence. But I'm pretty sure I've been what what this real gang stalking shit is. See, a lot of times they give you, they put out these crazy nut things, and you're a crazy fucking conspiracy theorist if you believe that Molek is a bad person or something like that, right? So is Molek a bad person? Who gives a fuck, right? Like, who cares about Molek, dude? Um, but you read into the Molek, and you learn a little bit of it, right? You understand that uh, that that's just another one of their gang symbols, right? It's just another one of them. It's not the main one. It's just another gang symbol. You feed the babies to Molek. They, they, your doctors are feeding feeding your tips to the fucking to Molek every day. They, they do it right in front of your face and they, they have you cheered on and science call rules and all that shit. Which science called is just their fucking call. Okay, I'm getting off, but I, I, I'm sorry, I can't even remember why that I got off that question. But these fucking people, the mole like people, um, they put out these, I don't know, I remember, they put out these crazy shits to make like you'd be like oh man only crazy people believe in that and they do that with everything I mean everything when you find a pattern of theirs hold on to that you will see that once you learn about seven of their patterns you have most you you have what it takes to see them see them wherever they are for some reason they can't change their pattern there's something about their uh, I mean they can but it's like a limited set of patterns they can they can work with so they teach you these patterns. Uh, they teach through these patterns. And they're teaching you, you know, bullshit, this info. Like they'll have stuff where there are really crazy people doing crazy shit. And they're telling you shit. But and a lot of times I see there's always some sort of their subliminal death messaging in this shit. Like with the Terry Davis thing. There's... Definitely, he's like going through the story of Esther in there like it's a good thing. Like he's promoting this shit, dude. It's like really bad, like what they do. And uh, I, you know, I watched that Terry dude and I thought like this is an FBI agent fucking doing something. 
it's it's one of them. He reminds me, the dude who basically taught me fucking a little bit on guitar. He his dad looked like that. So, I mean, yeah. And then he has like subliminal shit. Now the weird thing is, is supposedly Terry existed a year ago. His shit existed a year ago. So either it didn't exist a year ago. Or they have access to alter time. Either way, they have access to alter time in some way. They alter it in my mind, or they alter it in the real world. They all, they would be altering it in my mind with the help of many others, I believe. So, yeah. <clears throat> so I believe, dude. I was watching that shit, and he said my name one time, like. Just like out of nowhere. And I'm like, yeah, wait a minute. Hold up. No. But that's not just it, right? People say shit all the time. Like they were just watching what I was doing. Or they were just listening to my conversation. And like people who are nowhere around. I mean, we're in the internet age, right? Fucking uh, people are nowhere near me say this shit. It's weird. I see patterns where they're taught certain things, and I see patterns where, like, I do things that I'm taught, and possibly the patterns pick up on what I'm taught. But I see weird people placed in my life and shit. And I made a video on one of that, and people were like, what's it about? And it's like, well... Someone came into my life who hung out with Donald Trump before you guys know who Donald Trump was, right? And, like, that's a red flag to me. Like, I I come from, like, a family who works for people like that, but we're still slave class, right? For the most part, you keep the classes separate. But that wasn't really that bothered me. I was kind of used... I was used to outcasts with money, like, coming around me. Or, like, want to be cool. I, I guess I should have been used to really fucking hot cheerleader types coming around me. I'm sorry. I should have. That's happened before. Fucking, but, um, this person was, like, all of Donald Trump. And it was weird because they were making me feel weird about Donald Trump before Donald Trump even, like, ran for office. Uh, he was in no one's mouth, but he was in everyone, everyone inside my house talked, uh, at one point talked about the man before you know, this happened before he, he even got on TV and all that shit. And it felt like they were trying to, like, recruit me and shit. I was, like, feeling weird. It's like, why would you take me around these people? But, um, they, like, it's weird because I come from families who do, who can hang out with these type of people if they choose to. Like, I have been in the richest people's houses in the city, or at least uh, right outside some of their houses. They... I'm sure they have more than one if that one was Wexler's fucking house. There's no way fucking he doesn't have a house. That was like a condo. Yeah, that's probably like his little... where Just where he has parties or some shit. But, you know, I have been in some people. I'm pretty sure that's a house. It was a fucking jungle and a mansion combined. And so I've been to... So then they took me around to the other rich people. And at first it didn't feel so didn't feel 100 it's like felt weird vibe from the start actually there there was something wrong like i've lived a life of like loyalty and and fucking trust is number one like man that's just if you're if you're like a weak person fucking and you'd break easy like i just wouldn't have gravitated towards you i mean me and people i were around fucking can't trust people like that they fucking we had people like that turn on us real early and I learned like pretty fucking fast so I like I can sniff out fucking people who aren't like 100% boy or people like and I'll if, if you like give me signs like I obviously I'll apparently from what I just learned I'll I'll start questioning you and shit these days like I hardly put up with any sort of shit. I'd be like, what the fuck? That don't make sense. But, uh, and I was kind of taught that as well by people who kind of felt placed in my life, possibly. And it's like weird, all these people, like I look back at my life, and especially when we're talking about this 
the aliens taking over Earth thing, fucking, uh, or whatever you want to call the people at the top, they replaced some of these people who, when learning about that, looked back upon the amount of them suspiciously, very suspiciously. Like, I mean, you guys might as well consider me one of them. Fucking. I mean, just from that alone, I like came to that consideration. It's like, but I don't trust DNA testing. And I think most of their, most things they want you to pay money for are like a scam. Uh, I think they kind of just invent shit. I'm not sure if they really know DNA testing. But I also know that these people rounded up a certain bloodline a long time ago. And they had to hide your children because your children would have been killed. So, these same people are after the same bloodline. And I wouldn't want to give these people my blood sample. Fucking, no, they, they took over that shit. Like, why else did they take over that shit? Hmm, let's think about it. Why would they need to know your genetic history if that shit's real? And also, why would they need to take over it if it wasn't real? To, to control the bullshit. Fucking, to control the narrative like they do with everything. Comic books, Broadway, radio, TV, internet. I don't even, I really don't know where to fully begin. That story is, is so deep. I had started recording. I had started recording shit at that point. Like I had randomly recorded stuff here and there in my life. I've always been around cameras and shit and computers. And it could have easily fucking had cameras on me early. But they do, I mean shit. Cameras on me right now, right? I mean, some of my shit, like, my tech was definitely always ahead of whatever I was told everyone else had. So, I don't know where to begin with that story, though. Because that person, that person introduced me to so many things, it made me, like, paranoid. It's like, then I, I didn't have no, like, I don't think I made, I was, like, paranoid of everyone. But I've seen shit that's like kind of unseeable and stuff. And I, I felt shit that I was like, hmm, I don't know about that. You know? And I played around with it for a long time. And I've come to the conclusion that there's at least one group of people watching me. And... Um, group of beings. I shouldn't say people. I'm, I'm thinking people are different people. So, they had some weird shit going on all the time in my life. And I tested it and I started noticing like people acting weird but things around me act weird like stuff acts up and it shouldn't like I've been working with computers my whole life uh, I fuck a lot of shit up I'm sure everyone who builds computers and learns mechanics themselves fucks a lot of shit up but I've tested it and other things other than just everything fucking up around me and the weird thing is, is I was already aware of how computers work and they should work properly. And that was, I was like long past the basics of computers when I started having mad crashes. But I started having mad crashes when I got involved into this shit. Crashes were actually pretty random on early fucking windows and this shit. I, I don't remember them happening. Dude, early windows, like fucking five minutes to boot, 30 minutes to get online, dude. I wouldn't have been using computers if it a shit crashed back then. It 
that we would have to spend all day just re-dialing up, rebooting the computer. It would take fucking forever. Take five minutes to open the AOL app. Slams the computer. It's like, this ain't no damn graphics card. This ain't... This ain't no Rainbow Six Siege graphics laden game, dude. This is AOL, the king of fucking resources. So, that didn't used to happen. And weird things happen. And you know what's odd? It's like, everyone keeps talking about the Truman thing. And like, it's kind of like divorcing it in my face. And I watch it. And some of the same shit that dude noticed happened in my life. Like, he tried to go somewhere. And they blocked him from doing it, right? And I tried to go somewhere and I got blocked and then it was like it was pretty it was kind of suspect what actually happened at the RNC motherfuckers they didn't care And then no one covered that you couldn't get near Trump. No one said that. No one mentioned anything about the pro-war type pop posters. It was, it was like really, like the liberals weren't living it up. They could have really lived it up. Oh, I mean, fucking, and they had some shit. They didn't have to live it up. They didn't have to fabricate bullshit. There was... Because the Republicans came out, Al Jones came out and said the same thing about the DNC. They're like, we can't get nowhere near Trump. They won't let protesters near Trump. And it's like, man, you guys are all working together to a high day at the RNC. There was no Trump. There's no Trump nowhere. There was a bunch of fucking military. And you know what? I should have fucking jumped that. Just like he did. And that's odd. I bring that up because. When he left town, the military was there dressed in ha- with the hazmat workers. Uh-huh. See, how the fuck does all this shit, like, mirror my life? It's like a total mirror. This shit, y'all, y'all's like, don't happen the way mine did, right? I can tell you for sure, 50% of it, if that happened, like, I would know. You'd be in the newspaper. You'd fucking... When you was a kid, you know, you'd be fucking somewhere fucking some shit up and I'd see you and I'd be like, hey, fucking smash his window up for me, dude. He's a fucking bitch. You know, like uh, most of the shit I got into, no one else is doing any of that. Like none of the shit I do, no one gets into. Apparently everyone just watches TV. I did that for a little while. Like I was with someone who watched TV and that was like, I watch like everything on TV anyways. Fuck it. Fuck it. And so now there's no more TV to watch. But they, there never was. It's all the same thing over and again. I already went to all the bookstores. Got all that, right? Which is more of the what's weird going on in this world shit. Uh, how everything is exactly the same and how I'm not the only person to say that. And everyone else is saying it too. So I think, I see, I'm not even getting into this shit about how I think fucking I'm being watched. I'm not giving specifics. I kind of don't want to because what if I was wrong? I'd be fucking... I'd be like making someone on a target an individual their self. I'd probably be making a whole bunch of people targeted individuals. I have people in my life who are like... If they are those targeted individuals sent in my life, they probably would fuck someone else up. Uh, regardless, you know, uh, if they you know, eventually look back on it like, yeah, maybe we should fuck up the people who hired us to stalk this person. Um, because that's just how it is. Like, the people can hang out with me for the most part until I tell them to fuck off without liking me. So, I don't want to go into too many details, but fucking being, like, invited to Trump shit was, like, weird as fuck. Then being cock-blocked when I tried to go out of town to the RNC, which I finally made it, was weird as fuck. And a lot of other shit that goes on is weird as fuck. Like, my computers, why don't they work properly? I can can reinstall and, and all this shit and blah, 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 blah.
Is that rain? Yeah, like a cyclone of leaves fucking smashing into my car. What? what? That sounded weird as fuck. Okay, yeah, see, now I'm getting distracted. But I only see one leaf. Maybe it got caught up in the belt or some shit. Or some, one of them didn't. Anyways, fucking the car, weird as fuck, comes out of nowhere, right? It's fucking, uh, nice car, all this shit. I really don't deserve it. Fucking, uh, I fuck it up a little bit, but, um, it's like it comes out of nowhere. And it's, for me, like, serious. Like, I would have spent a little bit of money making a car look like this, and the car already came with fucking everything in it. And I probably ruined it, and probably, but the, the odd thing is, it was like weird. It was like designed to fall, it was like designed to fail, it seemed. Um, shit happened to it. Uh, and, and like certain certain things about the custom weren't perfect so shit can get in the way in a small vehicle I guess and then certain people would be like we don't know if that product works we can't install it and then like the people who tell them how to do their job would like talk with me and I'd mail it to them and they'd be like it works fucking but no one could install the parts because they don't they don't believe they worked and shit you know, and now people won't even work on the car around here. And and then they send the same person out. Every time I call a Craigslist person, I get the same dude. He didn't have tools last time, man. He said he sold them all. Sold them all for crack, probably. But it's like the same dude. Like, is there really just one dude on Craigslist? Dude, I live in this mad size city, like the 14th largest in America. There's one dude on Craigslist who changes his name and he posts all the other 50. How does he do all that work? You know, there's, there's got to be one, more than one person looking for Craigslist people, right? Everyone else fucking ignores your number and never called it back. But this dude, man, he's like always on there. Oh, and it's not a real name or nothing. I think his name changes every time. It's like weird shit happens. It's, it's kind of like I'm... After seeing that fucking Truman show in the last night, that was so fucking weird because that shit has happened to me when I've tried to, like, get out of town. Like, And the weird thing is, is I used to always never be in town. Like, as a kid, I didn't go to school and shit. I was, like, out in the country and stuff, driving around. Or whatever. Playing some games. And I would definitely still do that shit if I had a vehicle that could do something, maybe. But now it's like I kind of, like, get forced into staying at home and learning about some of this shit. I'm like, seriously, some of this shit's forced in my face. And people are all like, where did that information come from? It's like, I don't know, man. Like, they just, they soup this information at me. And the shit I get is like, nah, what everyone else does. And the shit I'm allowed to do, it's weird. And the person place in my life, that person felt really weird. And it made me analyze everything else. Now, there's so much more going on. This person had a police record of me. They they went around town asking questions about me. And to people who, like, don't even know me. People who are those loyal people I told you about, who if they work for the system, they're probably more loyal to me than they are this stalking system. One of them said, like, like, two of them were basically like, yeah. Yeah, that was weird how that person did that. And then one person like silenced that conversation when it happened, but that's fine. It, there, it was that person's page, so you know that's what they said to silence it. But I mean, this shit makes me paranoid when fucking I feel like I'm being stalked by motherfuckers. And maybe it'd be cool if like it wasn't like hell that they were trapping me in. Uh, it used to be pretty cool when I 
didn't have to worry about a car all the time. Like, it just makes me paranoid. It's fucked to be around a car ever since weird shit started happening all the time. And there's plenty of electronics in this car that I are purposely installed. I work on it all the time. That it came with so many electronics, and I've looked into it all. GPS, fucking tracking and shit. Yeah, it came with all that installed. Like before, it was popular. Before other vehicles had it, this vehicle had the GPS. I was just looking at ten seconds ago because I'm always having to work on this bitch. bunch of weird shit, it all, it all like, you know, landslides together, and you're like, what the fuck, people going around town asking about me, who claim they like me, and it's like, why would you do that, like, that's what a profiling does, and to hide their cover, they were a photographer, and they did make films, and they were an excellent photographer, I mean, if you're talented, you can do that shit, I've been doing photography since I was like a kid, uh, I mean, but they were definitely like a a gifted person. They had they had many talents. So and that would be exactly who the FBI CIA type person would be. A person who can do many things, a chameleon. And uh they even had like a protection assistant and they called upon them once. And that shit happened in the fucking Truman show. No, I ain't making this shit up, man. I, I used to record shit and I still try to, but a lot of it gets deleted for some reason or other. My first few years of researching who controls what got deleted all the time. Like when those crashes happen, it would get deleted all the fucking time. So I created an expensive redundance of rays. Uh, not, not your typical, like you'd be like, all right, if you know what you're talking about, you'd be like, raid this and that. And no, I mean like, I do shit my way, so you could. It's probably fucking hard for people to work around it. I've always done shit my way, just like all right. Like people call people who think different autistic. It's like, hey, motherfucker, I'm thinking like, <laughs> well, I'm an autist, or you're a retard, and that's normal. I don't fucking know, but I'm just doing shit differently. I'm sorry if I can't come up with the best way to do it the first time. You know, I I invent the shit, fucking do it a little bit differently. So I have like different, and in a, in a way to raise a technical deception. I, I hate to get off into that. That's like more fucking 20, 30, 50 hours of discussion. And really it's like a one hour law the government needs to pass to put an end to before it's ever discussed again. So it feels weird how some of these people are put in my life and they're like in the events coming up and it happens all around people saying words and shit that probably aren't eh, aren't a hundred percent non said words but when it's like over 50 percent of the time randomness i don't know if anyone's ever looked at the english dictionary but it's a big fucking book, and that's just a little tiny version of it, right? Uh, there is thesauruses, you know, you can look through those fucking, a little good dictionary probably has most words in it, right? But, um, man, that's not like 50 per, you look through that book, that's not a 50% chance you're going to pick the word I'm thinking of right now, right? Or the action I was just participating in. Uh, and it doesn't like work in my favor necessarily. It's just something I can notice. But a percentage of it does not work in my favor. You know, a matching percentage. Like if I'm like conjuring up the world around me. It's like. It's a little offensive sometime how it fucking happens. It's like. You know, it. Sometimes it's like people commenting on my life and shit. But it's weird. Again, going back to the Truman Show, that, and we'll get back on with the one person. See, this is one person I paid a lot of attention to because it was really, really, it was weird to me when they told me they went around in town and spoke with my exes. And, and I was like, wait a minute. People I date, first of all, aren't going to talk to you. Um, 
because most of them aren't even going to be out at these bars you go to. Um, so that's weird. You even met them in the first place. It's it's like, did you like call them up and say, hey, let's meet up there? Because those people seem just as weird too. Like I tried to question them and they seem reluctant to disagree with me. You know, you know how that happens when you're like, when you're uh, interrogating someone there is an issue when their patterns start to change. Like, see, someone like me, I can come through with all sorts of patterns and it kind of doesn't necessarily mean shit. But normal people tend to have patterns they go through. Like, people say, like, eye contact, like, means something. It's like, I don't ever have eye contact with anything. But, um, I guess maybe sometimes... But uh, with most people, they have patterns, and you can see them and work them. And these people, like, I mean, they even agreed at one point. They were like, yeah, that seemed pretty fucking weird. And like I said, we got told to shut up about that. It's like, yeah, well, it, it seemed pretty fucking weird because it, it was motherfuckers basically profiling me, it felt like people coming around people who knew me asking me about asking about me now like like that would be like a psycho stalker you you know you can write that off hey that's a psycho stalker but it's like there was no reason for the person to psycho stalk me I was with them like there's no changing that like I'm if I like someone like I'm loyal to them and generally until they start until they become the one fucking shit up and then, like, fucking, it's on. But, uh, unfortunately, that's fucking something I don't control. But, uh, it's his natural reflex. But, uh, when they start doing weird shit, like going around town and fucking interviewing people, interviewing, and, like, asking around about you, even, it's like, uh, like, well, if, if you knew anything about me, you'd know no one knows me, dude. Like, some people do. People like me who won't tell you shit if you just go around asking questions. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know. If you start asking me about my friends, I'd be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, if someone I don't know comes up and is like, hey, man, what's going on with the belly? I'd be like, what? Who's Billy, man? You know, if I'm thinking right, maybe I'm really fucking high. And I'd be like, oh, Billy, man. Billy's so drunk right now, man. He's in the bathroom. And then I'd be like, wait a minute. I don't know this motherfucker. You know, that'd be as far as it'd get. And that is exactly as far as... Although, once you tell me, you going around town fucking asking questions about me and shit. Like, right then. I'm, but once you tell me you got me my, my police report, I'm like, what? I'm like, man, you know, there's only one motherfucker who needs my police report, and that's the police. That's why they have it. That's why no one else keeps your police report, because they're the ones who are going to come bash your fucking head in and shit. You know, no one else is going to come bash your head in with your police report. A normal person look at your police report and be like, I don't want to bash his head in. Something bad might happen. I get my head bashed in. It's just, let's stop stalking him. Like, I suppose if you look at my fucking record, you might be like, well, let's not talk shit about him. Let's not stalk him. So, I mean, it's not as cool as it sounds. The real story's behind the shit, but it sure looks fucking cool. But, but the stuff not written, that's definitely some other shit. The stuff you don't, they don't try to fucking kill you over. Fucking, but that person had a lot of information. They were going around getting more information. Long time I questioned many things. They got fucking angry when I brought up the fact that I was like, 
You seem like a fucking federal agent or something. So, and I had just dated a sheriff right before that. And then that made me look back on that. Like, what, what's happening there? Like, police don't come into my life to hug and kiss me. And this one didn't act like, like she wanted to hug and kiss me either. Which is weird. I mean, I guess some people are just not emotional, but. Weird, man. Kind of fucking weird. But, like, that didn't even really, like, I can't pull anything out for that. But the other person, everyone knows, they were going around fucking after me, uh, asking questions about me, like, they even took pictures, they took tons of pictures of me, but they took pictures of my friends and shit, and I was like, like, they were a photographer, and, you know, a media mega, they made the media, who makes the fucking media, dude, like, like, literally, I'm not gonna tell you, tell you details, but they claim to make the media, and they had fucking movies that I've never seen that they said were theirs, and, and, um, I mean, and they took me to see famous people and shit. I didn't know any of them lived around here, but and not necessarily famous, but people behind things you guys worship, right? Um, the creator, you guys remember Celebrity Deathmatch, the creator of that, um, that clay art. She took me up there. So it's like, yeah, this person does actually know, you know, in it. It all seemed legit except for the stalker shit. Like, and that wasn't like normal stalker shit. Like, like if they wanted, if a person's obsessed with you, they would want to hang out with you. But that person didn't like want to be around me 24 seven. They spent almost as much time talking about stalking me and shit as they did hanging out with me. And that didn't add up either. It's like, dude, like you don't have to be a stalker. Like, if I'm with you, if you're a stalker and I'm not around you, then you got to be a stalker, okay? That, that That's pretty fucking obvious, right? And you're not going to get in if I think you're a fucking stalker and I don't like you. But if I like you, you don't have to stalk me because I already let you in. And you could just fucking ask me questions and shit, you know. And hang out with me. Like if if you if you're so infatuated with me, you need to stalk me. Then, I mean, right? A person like that would want to like hold your hand twenty four seven. Like cool, cool. What that didn't happen? They was just like gathering intel and popping in and out. And at the same time, they would participate with these other motherfuckers. And it's like. The only reason I ever wanted to go away from them, I think, was to um, work out, which I, they could have suggested we work out together because they worked out too. Or maybe they did that to convince me they did. Maybe they did that for their federal job. They did it to maintain shape and do their martial arts for the same reason as well. And so... Like, other than that, you can come pick me up after that. We'll fucking smoke some weed, whatever. 